This video will talk about properties of logs. So the fundamental properties of logs are given here in this box and that's t saying that base is greater than zero and b can't be one. So the first one just is log base b of b equal one. That means the exponent on b that gets you b is one. So b to the first, it's kind of like if we converted it to be b to the first is equal to b. And here we have the exponent on b that will give you one is b to the zero. And then here we have log base b of b to the x is just equal to x. And that's, if I convert it again, I have b to the x is equal to b to the x. So they are the same thing. So we can just say that when we have the bases are the same, the exponents are our solution. So it's just x. And then here we have b raised to the log same base of x equal to x. And since log base b of x is equal to, that should say log base b of x, like the opposite idea of number three. This one was exponential, this one's logs. This one's dealing with a log, this one's dealing with an exponential. So we want to take these problems and use the properties to solve them. Well, I have a log x here, and I would like to be able to get it to be just x. So I should be able to say, take the base, and as in property four, use both of these as my exponents, raise the base to each side. It's what we call exponentiating. So I'm going to say 10, because that's the base of my log, and then log x is equal to 10 to the 1.6. And this is the property. If the bases are the same, then it's just equal to that argument x. The bases are the same up here, so it's equal to this argument x. So here we have x, and then here we have 10 to the 1.6. And I'm going to be happy with that right now. So over here, now we have an exponential, and I want to get to just x, so I can use the log property over here, property 3, which says my bases can be the same. Well, if I have an e, that means I have to take a natural log. So the natural log of base e of my e to the x is going to be equal to the natural log of that 0 0.343. And when we do that, because this is ln e and the base was e, I can just say that it's my exponent is equal to ln of 0 0.343. And we'd be done. And we have one more to solve here. So let's get a little bit more involved, but we can keep working. So 10 to the 2x is going to be equal to, if I subtract 27, that's going to give me 163. And now I have this exponent. So let's remember those two properties. We had log base b of b to the x was equal to x. So can I take the log? Or we had b to the log base b of x was also equal to x. So if I'm starting with an exponential, that means I want to take the log of both sides and I want to take the log base of my exponent. So I want a log of 10 to the 2x is equal to log of 163. My base of my log and my base of my exponent are the same, so the exponent is what I have left. The inverses undo each other. It's like taking a square root and square and they cancel each other out. And then we have log 163 on this side. And if we divide by 2, x is going to be equal to the log of 163, and then we'll divide that whole thing by 2. So find the exact and approximate solutions to these things, and we have this problem over here. So we are going to subtract our 175, e to the point 0.05x plus 1 is equal to, and that's a thousand when we subtract our 175, and I want the base by itself. I need to get that base completely by itself before I can start using my properties. So I need to divide by 250. Now I have e to the point 0.05x plus 1 is equal to 4, and now I'm ready for my property. And again, since I have an exponential, I'm going to do the log. Same base, so it's a natural log of e to the point 0 of 5x plus 1 is equal to, I took the natural log on that side, so I had to take the natural log on this side, the natural log of 4. And the natural log and the base cancel each other out, and we're just left with point 0 0.05x plus 1 is equal to 4, ln 4. Point 0 0.05x is going to be equal to ln 4, that's a number, minus 1. So don't change this and say it's because ln 4 is not 4. And then we want to divide it by 0.5. So x is going to be equal to ln 4 minus the 1, and all of that will be divided by 0 0.05.
try another one. So we are trying to get to this. We need to get rid of everything else except for the ln 3x. So the first thing you do is start adding and subtracting across the equal sign. So we're going to subtract 7, which will give us negative 22 on this side, is equal to negative 8 ln 3x. And then I have to divide off my 8. And you can either reduce it or do whatever you want to with it. We could leave it this way, is equal to ln 3x. Well, this is going to end up being a positive. Let's go ahead and simplify it. They're both divisible by 2, so it would be 11 over 4 is equal to ln 3x. And I want to, now I have a log, so I need to exponentiate. I need to get the base of my log, which is e, and then make my log my exponent on that base. So ln of 3x. That looks like 3 to the x over here. This is just x. And then that's equal to, I still have to take e. If I raise the one side to the e, I have to raise the other side to the e, and it's 11 over 4. So here I have e to the 11 over 4. And on this side, we have the base of e and the natural log are going to cancel each other out because they're inverse functions of each other, leaving us with that argument because the property said same bases. We could just have the argument be our, our solution. And then we just need to divide by 3. So e to the 11 over 4 divided by 3 is going to be equal to our x. We're trying to get to log 2x. So the first thing I need to do is take the 9 to the other side. And then I'm going to divide by negative 4. So log of 2x is going to be equal to negative 5.4 divided by 4. I'll just leave it that way, except I will make it, since I'm divided by negative 4, I will make it a positive number on this side. And now we are ready to exponentiate. This is base 10, so I'm going to say 10 log base 10 of 2x, which is just log 2x, is equal to 10 to the 5.4 divided by 4. We have this property over here that says, and now we can use our property. The property says same base on the base raised to a log with the same base will just be equal to the argument, or 2x. And over here we have 10 to the 5.4 divided by 4. And we just have to divide by 2 and we'll be done. 10 to the 5.4 divided by 4 all over 2. There's our final answer.